I would say because of Andrew uh, and his team, you know, um, in 2020, um, I was able to do a um, million dollars again. Right. What's up, guys? I might have missed it, but uh, welcome to another interview inside of the Seven Figure CEO community. Thanks for being here. Uh, I have a super special guest with me today, uh, Jen Rudolph, who's one of our Seven Figure CEO clients, uh, and she helps actors and actresses uh, get more call bookings, callbacks, uh, and land more gigs. Uh, and she is an absolute rock star, superstar. Jen, thank you so much for being here. Andrew, I love you. And I love your program. And everyone needs to do it. And I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> thank you so much. If you guys have any questions along the way for Jen, we're going to be talking about her journey of scaling uh, her business the past year with a lean team of A players, also building up her Facebook group even more and building out her high ticket programs. Uh, so if you have any questions on that along the way, drop them down below. Um, but let's just get started with um, where we started together inside of Seven Figure CEO. What were you struggling with? What were you dealing with? And yeah. why did you decide to go with, with us? Well, it was one day back in July where I was sitting in a bathtub in uh, Long Island. And I said, you know what? I need to just hire Andrew. I want to revamp my Facebook group. I want to like pump it up. I want to make it a machine. I want to just like recreate the entire landscape. You know, and I knew that, you know, like Andrew was the king of Facebook groups. And um, I just want to set a little context. Um, I was already very um, successful uh, when I came to Andrew. Um, I had a brick and mortar for 10 years. I had transitioned into the online space. Um, and I did do very well in uh, 2019 when I had moved into the online space. But, you know, it was 2020. It was the pandemic. It was crazy. And I was like, I feel like there's more that I could be doing with my group on Facebook. And, you know, truth be told, I was getting a little bit burnt out because even though I had grossed um, 1.4 million in 2019, you know, moving into the online space, I was kind of like a one woman show. And it was great, you know, in many ways, but then I was like, okay, there's gotta be more to this, you know? And I just had this gut instinct that I was gonna hire Andrew, you know, to really learn how to scale my business and to do it in a sustainable way. And, you know, like how to just really like turn my group on Facebook into, you know, more of like, just more of like a machine in a certain way where I'm flooding with so much value that people are like, they just want, they just can't help themselves, you know? And that is what Andrew had me do is, you know, I immediately, I was like, dude, I want to work with you. I'm a special snowflake. Like, you know, like I want to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, whatever. Um, he made me an offer uh, where I worked with him um, for 90 days, but I was also um, in his program. And, you know, I have to say, guys, I have been part of um, other programs. And for me, you know, what I love so much about Andrew's program is that he taught me immediately how to scale. Like he taught me immediately how to, you know, make my months, you know, like um, huge months um, business-wise, but to bring on a team. And he taught me how to, you know, he taught me the structure of what I had to do in order to scale. And I was able to implement it very fast because that's who I am. And that's, you know, just how I work. And, you know, I have been on every single call, like every single mentoring call, every single like offering. I don't ask a lot of questions. I'm very quiet. I implement via osmosis. And then when I have questions, you know, I ask them, I get laser help and I implement, but I would say because of Andrew uh, and his team, you know, um, in 2020, um, I was able to do a um, million dollars again in uh, gross revenue. And this was during the pandemic. And this was when my industry almost as a whole was shut down in many ways. And so I had to pivot super fast, you know, and like I had started this journey back in March, you know, on my own. And then when I came to Andrew mid-year, I was like, all right, I like, you know, I am always the first to say I'm doing well, but I need help. Like I want to scale, like I am a little burnt out here and I want you to teach me how I can, you know, build a team number one and how I can, you know, do well every single month. And I have to say guys, and, and this is very true for me, 
that, you know, since I started working with Andrew, um, I've had consistent months of 75 K and above. And I had my biggest month in December of 2020 of, um, 165. And already this year I'm at 85. So, you know, all of this is really possible because I'm working and I also have now a, um, robust team and I have a MRR offer, uh, which we'll talk about that is scalable. And, you know, the biggest lesson for me that I've had to learn is I've had to really implement, you know, Andrew's ideas on, you know, how to let go of control and how to train people up, you know, to run the machine. And Andrew's program is so amazing, you know, that he lets all of my coaches into the program and they're on the calls. So, you know, his people are training my people you know, and they're now like, you know, they are doing so well. I think a lot of them are watching this right now. So yeah, so we're, you know, we're already at 85K this month. Um, and, you know, um, my team uh, is running so much of this. I would say that my deliverables every week, like if I were to take out, you know, a lot of just like all of the extra stuff I do, because I'm always growing and learning, I would say that I'm only working like 15 hours a week. And that is a result, that is a result of implementing everything that I've learned from Andrew and Avery and Brad and everybody that is about scaling. That is about following a system and a formula that I did not know before working with you, Ugh, getting off my soapbox. And, and scene. Amazing. <laughs> You're hired. Yeah. yeah. I, I think the, the, when we started working together, it was a lot around the messaging and uh, formulating your offers and the delivery and all of that. Um, and I know you love Avery. So can you talk a little bit about oh. that experience of going through a pandemic, having to shift your, your marketing, your messaging, uh, and what that experience was like working with me and uh, Avery on that? Oh my gosh. All right. Honestly, um, the biggest takeaway that I've had so far that I immediately got was just, you know, um, simplicity is the key and complexity is the enemy. So, you know, I watched everything on the back. I mean, Andrew has a robust course on the back end, an absolute robust course. And I am a beast. I sat there and I, I I've watched everything probably like three to four times. I mean, cause that's just the way I am. Like, like I'll lay in bed at night and I'm just like relaxing and I'm watching it because I'm totally weird. Um, I'll be on the treadmill and I'm watching it. I'm totally weird. And I get that. But um, what I've learned so much from Andrew and Avery around messaging is, you know, simplicity. And, you know, when there's value people buy, number one, you know, number two, I mean, I'm just going to say like my own thing here is that I am flooding my group on Facebook with so many case studies and so much value and so many things that they literally, I mean, my team is on the phone with people multiple times a week and rolling people into my program. Um, like we're, we are easily going to be um, doing over a million dollars again this year already. I mean, like it's just already being set up. And so much of this is around my messaging. Um, Avery helped me so much with just, you know, dialing in on the ideal client even more, you know, you've, you've taken all of the chatter and all of the radio interference out of everything. And you've made it so easy to just implement. And then I come to the calls and I get laser, you know, like laser answers. And, you know, I have to say for so much of my life, I have been a special snowflake as we call it in this business. I'm like, I want one-on-one. -on -one. I just wanted that. I don't want to work with a group. I'm an only child. I don't want any of this, but I have to say the biggest uh, the minute that my business took off is when I surrendered that, that stupid, like that stupid narrative, you know, because it was, and I immersed myself into the group. And, you know, as you know, like, I don't ask a lot of questions, but I am on everything and I'm learning. I am learning, watching you coach other people. I'm implementing, I'm coming back with questions. You know, you empower people to really do the work on their own and to come and to extract value from everything. So, you know, the way that his program is um, designed is just, you know, for maximum learning. And if, if you are a good implementer and if you are in a group of other people who are implementing at, you know, like a really high level, you can't help but entrain. So, you know, I went from being burnt out 
and basically being a one woman show to having two other head coaches and to having five um, accountability coaches, um, a few of which are here watching. What's up? What's up, guys? Um, and I have to say, um, I have two offers uh, within my main offer. And I would say that we have a conversion rate of mm, anywhere between 85 to 90 percent of people who are who are who are who are in that lower offer are ascending into the larger um, MRR, and that is because of my team. That is because of how good it is. That is because of the structure that you've helped me put in place. That I have customer satisfaction. Yeah, I will shut so, up now. And you can ask me questions. <laughs> tell me a little bit about the nitty gritty of what your life was like before hiring this team and what it's like now having a team underneath you. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I mean, I was, I mean, I was a horror show. I was very irritable. Um, I was very testy. I mean, I, um, I don't think that, uh, my team will say that about me now. Um, because I'm, I'm very nice, but <laughs> I was burnt out. Like I felt like I was just, you know, there was an issue that I had, you know, thinking that if I don't do something, it isn't going to get done. And I think a lot of people um, who are entrepreneurs like are, are of that mindset. And, you know, what's so wonderful about your program is that, you know, you're training people, like you're actually doing the work for me so that I don't even have to train them, number one. Number two, I mean, I would say that, you know, my relationships were really stressed. I would say that I wasn't that emotionally available for my son, because, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like just the personal consequences that were happening as a result of me being a one woman show were just above and beyond anything that I could perceive until I hired a team, until my life got exponentially better and until my business got exponentially better. And now I'm working so much less. I choose to work more because I'm always growing. But if I, if I were to just like sit back and do nothing, um, the business would run and it would be about 15 hours a week on me. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. So what would you tell somebody who's at that point where either they have a super small team, uh, or they're, they're thinking, oh, I can do everything myself. What would you tell them? Stop the insanity. I would say, stop the madness. Um, it doesn't have to be this way. Take it from me. Um, you know, the only thing that's standing in your way is your issue of control and your issue of, and your issue of fear around, you know, what happens if I let go. And again, you know, what's so wonderful about your program. I mean, there are a million things that are wonderful about your program, but, you know, in terms of this one thing, it's like, they train your team. Like they like literally like my team is on all the calls, like they train your team. So it's like, you don't even have to worry about that, which is just insane. So I would say, you know, you have to trust in letting go of control. And I think that was my biggest obstacle. And then once I did, my business has blown up to epic proportions. So good. And what about your client results as well? Oh my God. I, I mean, it's, it, it's absurd. I mean, I am functioning at a higher frequency. I am able to show up more and really hone in on my clients even more because I'm more available and I'm not as energetically stressed, you know, um, and whatnot because I now have a team. So it's like me having a team has freed up the mental space that I can even show up at a higher level for my clients. And then my clients are getting absurd results. I mean, like I have people, uh, yeah, like, it's absurd. And, and so therefore I'm flooding my Facebook group with value and like case studies and like all of this stuff. People are like, you know, where do I sign up? Where do I sign up? Where do I sign up? And, and it's all based on the machine that you have helped me create. Thanks, Jen. Um, I think another super important point is your MRR program, your back end program. Yeah. Uh, that's a higher ticket price point. And yeah. you had a program when you started with us that was higher end back end. Um, and we've made some changes there. Tell us yeah. a little bit about the changes and bringing in the accountability coaches oh and what it looks like now compared yeah. to what it looked like when it was basically a one-on-one -on -one program. Essentially. Yeah, um, it was a group program. Um, so now what it looks like is I have 
five accountability coaches. And right now, okay, so there are two levels within our program. You can do the one month version where um, we dial in on, you know, like a certain amount of stuff in the one month. And then after that, you can extend and do the six months. We have some people who will just say, you know what, screw it, I'm all in, I'm gonna do the six months. So out of the one monthers, we have like, we have a re retention rate of about 90% who then move up to the six month. Mm -hmm. um, and the accountability coaches are in there, they're, you know, like they're reaching out, they have calls every week. Uh, we have a client um, success uh, specialist now who I'm training, uh, who is actually one of my, <laughs> Um, one of my coaches is now, you know, like offering more of that, you know, like uh, more of that. Um, so there's so many touch points now that people just, you know, like really do feel like they're taken care of. And again, you know, the business is growing and the clients are happy because of the team, you know, and because of the team, I'm able to show up at a higher level. So the clients are happy. So it's a machine that, you know, it's like, in the past, like, oh, hey, here you go. Before I started working with you, I did have some people who were like, I'm not happy with the program. I don't like it. You know, I, I, I don't feel good about it. It was too expensive. I didn't get my money's worth. Since starting to work with you and my coaches who are here, um, I know that they can say this is true. We have not had anybody who has said that the program wasn't worth it. We have not had one person since I've started working with you who has said, you know, this structure, this whole container sucks. Like we have not had that. We have not had any refunds, nothing. The only time that people don't ascend is simply because of money and it's a real thing. And they're like, we love you. Oh my God, I can't wait to come back, you know? So we've not had any refund requests or um, like any flack. And again, that is because of the team because how the team helps me, how the team helps the clients, how the clients are getting results because I'm helped because of the team. Mm -hmm. So it's, it. yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah. And there's a big shift in the industry where it used to be you sold this high ticket coaching program and it was just you. You filmed all the videos and yep. you did all the coaching calls. Now there's a big shift to building a team internally um, yep. to really get your clients better results. Um, so uh, if anybody out there is watching right now needs help with that, hashtag help or hashtag seven figure CEO down below uh, and we can chat about it. Obviously, we want you to be a client. We want more clients. If you're willing to go all in, if you're not, then uh, it's not the best to work with us. So if you want to explore that hashtag seven figure CEO down below uh, and we can chat about it. Um, but with one point I also want to make, uh, since we're talking about team here, is you're not paying somebody's salary, you're buying your time back. Because you're going to have to service these clients anyhow. You're going to have to do the marketing, you're going to have to do the sales, like you're going to have to do the operations. But if you have a team in place, you don't have to do it. Your, your machine will run. Uh, and it's just about developing those leadership skills, the managerial skills, having us help you train your team as well uh, to make that machine run. So can you talk to us a little bit about um, the leader you needed to be and some things that you needed to embody in order to lead this team, to manage this team? Did you have to have a shift in oh. how you operated uh, oh. before having a team and now having a, a large team or a oh. lean team? Oh, this is going to take a hot minute. Um, yes. I mean, there are so many principles that I've had to embody. I mean, so much of it is just surrender. Like, um, and I will say developmentally, the person that I've become as a result of becoming a team player like this. And again, I'm an only child. I built a successful brick and mortar and I did it on my own for years. So this was like nails on a chalkboard. You know, like this was like, you want me to turn stuff over to a team? Are you crazy? Like, I like they're not going to close. Like, what, what what's happening? So I had like, oh my gosh. I mean, like I had to undergo like a personal transformation, like in regards to this. And I, you know, like I come to the calls and like, you know, 
you don't know this, but you know, like there are times when I'm like, I'm just, I'm like, okay, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You know, like I, like I'm a control freak, hundred yeah. percent. I'm a control freak. And, you know, you've taught me, you know, that my team can be as good as me, you know, if I'm willing to just, um, let go in a certain way. And I did. And like, they're doing great. Like, um, I have my two closers on here. Uh, Igor and Sabrina are on here and then Ross is on here. And then I have Aaron and I have Holly. Um, I also want to give a shout out, um, to someone who I work with as well. If I can guys yep. having mindset support is so important. Um, and I want to give a shout out to, um, uh, my mindset person who might be watching this, uh, Dr. Amber Salvador. Uh, I've been working with Dr. Amber for almost a year um, on just, you know, like how to keep myself just, you know, optimal, like how to get my shit together. Because again, I'm only as good as my mind and as my emotions. So if I'm crazy, then my business is going to be crazy. So, you know, I just want to give a shout out to her. Um, if you are looking for someone to work with or for mindset, Dr. Amber is amazing. So I, I, I just wanted to say that. That's I all. love it. Yeah. Love you it. can put her link down below or whatever. Dr. Amber Salvador. I yep. love it. Cool. Um, and, uh, yeah. What, what, what haven't I asked you that I, I should have asked you? What haven't you asked me? Um, do I think that seven figure CEO is a no brainer? Yes, it is a no brainer for everyone in here to sign up for seven figure CEO. Um, if you, I mean, I can only speak for myself and, and I can say that, you know, if you have a good business, you know, like if your business is off the ground and it's running and you want to explode it, you're going to need systems in place in order to do that. And you're going to need clarity confidence and a culture of execution as Andrew has taught me. And that is what I'm, I'm involved in, in seven figure CEO. Um, and again, you know, if you want to get like, if you are at a level that you feel, you know, like it's good, like business is good, you know, like you're making a living and it's good. And if you want to explode it, then this program is a hundred percent. Yes. Like you are a hell, you are a hell yes to this program. I mean, it was a no brainer. It was the easiest and the best decision I've ever made. It was, it was easy. Like it was like, oh yeah, you know, so. I love it. Jen, thank you so much. Everybody watching, if you got any value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button. Uh, so more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, more people can help. Um, and Jen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your kind words. And I'm thank so excited for our growth together in 2021. It's going to be awesome. Me too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See you guys.